you guys, I'm back. Cosmos, Mr. Hat, how's it going? Oh, okay. Oh, poor Mr. Hat missed the 13 ball. Cosmos, look, we got some letters here in the mail to us. Boy, oh boy, what a lot of work I did this last week. Yeah, that's right, me working. But I'm telling you, Cosmos, whew, the Chehalis River's got nets in it that are no longer killing the fish because they're derelict. <laughs> Removing these silent killers from the seafloor is really a good thing. Hello, everyone. I'm your host, the Doc, ghost net guy of Washington State. Of course, your co-host for this upcoming film short on the YouTube is Cosmos. <laughs> oh, that guy. Him and Mr. Hat, of course, have been playing all week. And me, I'm up there on the river removing derelict gear. Someone's got to work around here, you guys. Oh, well, whatever. Anyway, we got a couple of letters in the mail, and one is from an individual that I thought you might enjoy his idea. He had a great idea. I'm going to share it with you here. Uh, Dear Doc and Cosmos, I have fished the Northwest waters for most of my life, and I enjoy fishing the South Sound. Um, is it possible that you can take your underwater camera and film the seafloor in the area that I like to troll so that I can view it up on the YouTube, wow, and see the area so I can catch a few more fish and not lose my gear. You know, that's a great idea. Cosmos, come on, let's look into the right eye of Cosmos and learn about trolling the Point Richmond area, and we're going to start off at the Minesweeper. Come on, Cosmos, give it up. Nice, see? Right now, we're in 80 feet of water, and we're drifting towards the south, and we're off the minesweeper. Now, to give you a better idea of where we're sitting, let's go topside over to our topo map, and I will point right here in this area on the spot. Now, let's get a good look at what it looks like here with the camera from the boat. Yes, that's it. Now, to the bottom and continuing our drift along the shelf here, moving towards the south, over the minesweeper. This area holds structure, and many times we'll use the 3D structure scan from Simrad. This helps us identify and locate this derelict gear, of course, that's laying on our seafloor. And in this minesweeper, there is a net tangled on the bottom. However, it doesn't seem to be fishing. As we move towards the south more, you notice that the bottom now has become more tight in rock. You know, it's amazing. Over the years, with Mount Rainier has blown, these granite rocks, some of them the size of a car, are lying on the seafloor in particular areas. And then in some other areas, it looks like a shotgun has blown it up because you have all these small rocks laying all tight together like on a riverbed. And of course, the current flows around here fast. And if you people have the opportunity to fish in this Point Richmond area, pay close attention to this day marker, fish with and across the tide, and if we drop down into 200 foot of depth, you'll see that there's really not a lot here for your downrigger to get tangled up in. Wow. <laughs> and affirmations of life, oh, this is one that I want to share with you. Kids, I think you need to take your dad fishing. Have what we call a, a boy's day out on the water, and if you want to catch these type of fish with ultralight gear, <laughs> You know, I took that rig and gave me. Yeah. I took that down. Sit on your lure, that's right, and yell, sick <laughs> All right. Until next time, make sure you wear your life jacket. Boys, day out.